Nityanandam, this is Srinitya Maya Titananda and welcome to NTV News from Nityananda Dhyanapidam Bidadi. It's Tuesday, September 13, 2011. The headlines In today's Bhagavad Gita Satsang, Krishna starts the message of Bhagavad Gita. Introduction to Mahamantra Meditation, Brain Yoga and Motivation talks to two national primary Tamil schools in Johar Bharu, Malaysia. Ongoing high-tech program, a resounding success. Now for the main news. In today's Bhagavad Gita Satsang, now that Arjuna has surrendered, is finally receptive to Krishna's words. Krishna for the first time opens up and gives the first message of Bhagavad Gita. He tells Arjuna neither to grieve for the people who are dead, nor to grieve for those who are alive, and tells him this is not expected of a wise man. One interesting point mentioned by Swamiji is that Arjuna never said he would not fight as described by Sanjaya to Dhridharashtra. Arjuna in his dejection throws down his weapons but never says he will not fight. That line was added by Sanjaya while reporting to Dhritarashtra. Let us watch a small clip from the morning satsang. Please understand, unconsciously any encounter with the time is accident. Your very existence is accident. You are either already dead or waiting to die. That's it. Please understand. There are millions of people who are already dead but not buried. This dead not buried. They are only called Bhutas. The buried people do not disturb us. Dead but not buried, roaming around. These fellows only become ghosts. People who encounter the time with awareness every moment, does not accumulate engrams. They accumulate maturity. Yesterday I have given a clear description. Maturity of the soul. Ripe soul. Understand. Maximum time you are living inside your flesh and bones, see you are becoming matured. Either you grow or you age. If you miss the morning satsang, you can watch it again on NTV or you can download this clip from our website nityananda.org. Nityananda Dhyanapidam Malaysia recently conducted an introduction to Mahamantra meditation and brain yoga to two national primary Tamil schools in Johar Bharu, Malaysia. This event is an invitation given by two national primary Tamil schools in Johar Bharu, Malaysia, which is National Type School Tamil Ladangrini and National Type School Tamil Kangarpulai. These schools organized their annual motivation camp for their year 6 students usually conducted on the final week before the student sits for their national examination known as primary school evaluation test before they leave for secondary schools. The class consisted of Swamiji's teachings which is of relevance for the students. They were introduced to Mahamantra meditation, brain yoga exercise and also some sharing on Swamiji's life during his childhood days to inspire them. 
the class was attended by over 350 students and enjoyed by all the teachers and parents present there. In conclusion, the whole event was a grand success and the schools have communicated that they are looking forward to organizing more such events in future to cater to their students in the other classes. Let us take a look at the picture. The ongoing high-tech program is getting great reviews from the participants. One of the participants we spoke to today said it was one of the best self-development classes she had ever attended. Let us take a look at some of the others sharing their experiences. My name is Linda Rose. I'm a physiotherapist coming from Coimbatore. Uh, before attending this high-tech program, I was so arrogant, rude, cunning, violent and terrible that even my family members cannot tolerate it. I was living like a person who cannot uh, uh, take my body. I was totally dead like I was dead person whole without being with my mind. I went into such depression, such depression that I can never su survive for even a minute. So I was in that depression. But after attending this program, really, I, f I really came to know what I am actually. See, this is such a pretty uh, individual consciousness resting within ourselves. And we I've wasted nearly all my past 20, 27 years without knowing what really am I am. But now, after going through all the process of what of th through this high tech program, I really became what I really am, and I really I'm feeling right now that I am an embodiment of love, and I'm the one. I'm the pure individual consciousness that which always rests rests in me, and I can express all through my life. I've got that great confidence, and I was not able to speak in front of anybody. I was with lot of fear, tension, worries, and everything I can come over all these problems just because thinking getting into the reality of what I am is and I feel I am really a God that's what I want to say through this program and that's all from us for tonight before we end our news let's hear a quote from Swamiji meditation can help kindle the creativity in you thank you for joining us and tune in for tomorrow's updates on NTV Nityananda.